Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is an authenticate with me video. So I just had this video idea and I thought it would be cool to do for a recent purchase that I just had on Poshmark. So as you guys may know, if you've been trying to buy Lux items in the stores, like the stores have been just sold out. Like they have been cleaned out and I think they're having a hard time keeping up with supply and it's just, and it's just been so hard to find items lately. So um, I went ahead and bought, so I went ahead and made a Lux purchase on Poshmark that I typically wouldn't have made because it's a small leather good and um, it falls under that $500 threshold where Poshmark authenticates the item. So I was really taking a risk when I made this purchase but I had been wanting it, I had been needing it and the stores just didn't have it. So, so the item that I purchased is the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 15 pouch. On my channel I have another video where I was able to snag the Toiletry 19 pouch. I just happened to be in store um, on the day that it was you know coming off the truck and get it delivered. I walked in, they did didn't have it and I saw the UPS man pulling up you know pulling up to a Louis Vuitton store with all these boxes and I said oh I'm just gonna walk around the mall for an hour and come back and see if they have one and so they ended up unloading it and so I grabbed it I have been in love with the toiletry 19 pouch and this is it right here I did a video on what's in my bag what I carry in it and I um, also did an unboxing video with you guys I'm gonna link the two of them down below but here's my toiletry 19 pouch with all of my toiletries in it and so I wanted the Louis Vuitton trifecta. I want the toiletry 26 that has been all over Instagram. People have been wearing them like clutches. I think it's just so cute for a casual clutch. And I really wanted the toiletry 15 pouch because I wanted to put it in a handbag. Most of my purses are small. My style is, if you watch my channel, you see that my style is more the small to medium flap. And this is a little big for that. But that's okay because I bought this more so for travel and when I would be away from home for the entire day. I'm a minimalist when it comes to things being in my bag. That's why I like the small bag. I am not the woman who puts everything in her back. I never win that game at the baby shop. But when I am away from home all day due to work or in court or traveling, I do like to have all of my toiletries accessible. I'm a clean woman. I always like to appear put together. And so I really needed a toiletry bag. And I and I talk about in that video about how this was a sophisticated purchase for me. Like I, this just really made me feel really good, really adultish, if you will, to kind of have a luxe toiletry bag to carry my toiletries in. So enough about that let's get back to this Poshmark purchase so the toiletry 15 currently retails at I think 480 or 475 I'm not totally sure about that I looked it up right before I did this video and it slipped my mind I want to say 480 um but when I have been shopping for it online people were charging upwards of that because they're taking advantage of things not being available in store on online so a lot of Lux items are going for over retail now if you watch my channel and you follow me on Instagram you know that I am always hashtagging luxury on a budgets your girl does not pay over retail and I'm never gonna say never but that's just not the move for me right now it's not that serious to where I need to pay over retail it's just not that serious so one of the cool Poshmark features is that when you search for something you know it'll start to notify you like hey you're looking for this item and this item has just been posted here we have a new listing for it I really like that Poshmark does that so I got a notification saying that oh you know we have these new listings for a toiletry 15 so I saw, so I saw this Poshmark listing for a toiletry 15 it looked to be in great condition um, and it was being posted for 400 for around three, $390 or $400 and I was like man this is a this looks like a good deal like all the pictures look nice all the pictures look good the seller met my criteria there are a lot of scammers out there you guys so make sure you check out my video on tips from purchasing from Poshmark be a little bit more savvy when you're shopping for Lux things um, out there on the internet they are super fakes out here there are scammers out here but in that video I go over a couple of my tips of what helps me eyeball a good seller so the seller met all of my criteria for being a seller and so I made her an offer so I started my offer low that's my little haggling um, technique and I know that that upsets some sellers it upsets me when I sell but psychologically bargaining works it gets it gets people's interest it's like hey this person wants to buy what I'm selling they aren't willing to pay what I'm asking for can we can we meet halfway I'm real strategic about the offers that I make and so I made her offer I want to say for like and so I made her offer I want to say for like 250 I knew that she would reject it but I just put it out there anywhere anyway she came back with another offer really for the same price kind of like a you know girl are you crazy type offer this is what I said what I, I said what I said 
I said what I said offer and I was I immediately rejected like and I made her another offer going up a little bit more on my 250 I think I might have went up to 275 and she came down to maybe 350 or 325 and I was like okay she's willing to bargain and she wants to bargain now I made her another offer of 300 immediately and she accepted it. and I'm like, so I'm like yes a score like I hope this works out I'm gonna be 100% real with y'all in the back of my mind I'm hoping this works out because this item will not be authenticated by Poshmark this is the risk that I'm taking on as a buyer and so I have my purchase with me right here this literally all just went down in the last couple of days I got my box and I wanted to film this video with you guys and we're going to authenticate th this together one more last thing before we start is that one of the reasons why I felt more comfortable taking this risk is because I already had basically the same item to compare it to I have an authentic toiletry 19 that I purchased out of the store so I had a good good litmus test for what this item was supposed to for what this item is supposed to look and feel like I can't say that I would have been this bold taking this risk on an item that I had no familiarity with or nothing to compare it with at home or if it was something that a friend didn't even have something to compare pair with so that's just another pre-love shopping tip that I want to share with you guys like if you're going to take that risk online um, to help protect yourself at least have access to something authentic if you don't have anything at home that you can kind of mimic what the real thing is supposed to look like if you have have a close friend that has the item that you want you know ask them like hey I'm thinking about buying this online can I use can you bring yours over so we can compare and contrast so I'm a fan of the pre-love market because I love a good discount but I do want you guys to not get scammed out there so here we go let's unbox this watch my purchase so I have the post office box that it came in And she stuffed it in some tissue paper. Okay, guys, so here is the box. Appears to be an authentic Louis Vuitton boxes, and I have enough of these to know the cardboard is a quality, the weight feels right. Um, I've done enough shopping to know that this is some authentic packaging, but um, don't always take that as a, okay, then that means the item is authentic. People buy authentic packaging off the internet just for the purpose of repurposing counterfeit items just to make, give the buyer a little bit more peace of mind. So don't just take that and run with it, but it is one extra point. And so I opened the box and here is the dust bag, an authentic Louis Vuitton dust bag. I'm gonna open it. And here we have the toiletry 15 item. And it appears to be in great condition. Um, it does look a little worn here on the, the little tag, the maiden tag where the Vachetta is, which is again, something that I knew when I made the purchase. And this sign of use right here is essentially what gave it the lower price. This is not a big deal to me. This is what this is gonna look like after I use it a couple of trips anyway. Um, so, so if you don't mind your items having a little character flaw or a little character usage, again, pre-love is an excellent way to go. This is getting thrown in the bag. This is not getting worn on my arm. So it's no need for it to be pristine condition. Like I just want it and I want a decent price. So here it is. The inside looks really good. I'm gonna smell it, it has no smell, and that's something that's important with listings too. Always be sure to ask, hey, is this coming from a pet-free, smoke-free home? Because sometimes things take on the odors of their owners, and I am a big sticker for cleanliness. I spend way too much time and money on my perfume collection for me to be walking around with stinky accessories, so I don't play that, and so that is something that I did double check before I made the purchase. Um, but inside, I just wanna show you guys, it has the, um, the Louis Vuitton barcode tag that comes with their items um, that again I'm familiar with and this inside looks really really good they took really good care of this there's no peeling and no stickiness um, on this so I'm gonna zip this up and we're gonna authenticate this together side by side all right so here I have the toiletry 19 the newly purchased toiletry 15 okay so first we're gonna start with the made in tips and I'm going to just, I'm gonna, so I'm going to come closer so you, so I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see and put these side by side. I hope my camera's focusing. But as you can see, they're the exact same size. 
the stitching looks the same the lettering looks the same again the 15 just has a little a little bit of usage wear and here my 19 is brand new because I haven't had the pleasure of traveling um, because we've been in a pandemic so my 19 hasn't been used yet but it is packed and ready to go so you see where that edge is turning a little bit again just a sign of wear I'm going to flip and show you the size of the tag because this is a tail time this is a tails tail sign in the pre-loved market this dot this coat this shade of I'm sorry this shade of red here, the Louis Vuitton dyes the side of their vachetta with or that edge with, that's something in the counterfeit market that's hard for them to match. Um, sometimes, and, a, and one tell sign of it being a fake is that this red is too red. It's, it's more like a bright red. There is bright red on face. It's more closer to a burgundy on the authentic things. It's really hard for the counterfeiters to match. And so here, we're gonna look where the zippers catch up. Sorry, you guys, I'm having a hard time holding these. So here we're looking where the zippers catch. It look exactly the same down there. We're gonna follow the zipper. The zipper is in good use, good usage here. And that's also important when you're buying things with zippers. Sometimes people are getting rid of them because the zippers are broke. So you wanna ask and make sure like, hey, the zipper isn't missing any teeth. The zipper gliding fine. And this one is gliding just fine. Now we're going to look at the zipper tags. This one has a couple of scratches. Again, just character marks that I'm not a, that I'm not um, worried about. The LV looks exactly the same on both of them. Exactly the same. We're gonna look at the shape of the sides. And the toilet, my toiletry is not stuffed, but it does have things in it. But as you can see, if I just sit them, let them rest on my hand, kind of side by side, they have the exact same shape. Stitching looks very nice. The fold of them looks very nice. They feel the same. Guys, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm confident that this is an authentic purchase. Look at this. Look at that sits. Look at that kind of like trapezoidal kind of base shape or was you kind of pyramidish base shape. Okay, I promise I passed geometry class. It's just my brain is filling me right now. And then here guys, look at this detail right here. So look at how on my 19 right here, the stitching across stops right here so it stops all the way to the end and then the stitching coming up vertically has this little gap right there this has the exact same thing and again this is something you want to watch when there's fakes because they don't have this this hand stitch quality time that's what makes them fake <laughs> and they're not being manufactured in Louis Vuitton factory but here look the stitching comes all the way across and the stitching from the bottom comes up and stops right there at the corner just like it does on my authentic one so guys yeah i'm a hundred percent well i'm gonna say 99 and look at look at this stitching detail here i'm sorry to, to bring if you guys can see that on the real one the stitching comes across and stops like maybe one or two stitches before same thing here stitches comes across and stop maybe one or two stitches before so what do you guys think I am pretty confident that this is an authentic piece. It feels good, it looks good. The details are matching up. I think I got another score on Poshmark, guys. I got a toiletry 15 in great condition, great condition for only $300. I could not be more excited right now. So here's my toiletry 15 and my 19, and now I'll just be working on getting the 26 so I can have the complete trifecta Again, this one I plan on putting in, putting my makeup compact in, maybe just my powder and my lip gloss and dropping it in my purse. Again, one of the reasons why I wanted this is because some of my bags have a very uh, light color suede and I didn't want to stain them or, or have something spill in it. And so I wanted a toiletry bag because it has this easy cleanable liner on the inside and it didn't ruin, and it wouldn't ruin the liners of my purses. So that's why I wanted this purchase. 
I know Louis Vuitton makes cosmetic pouches just for that purpose, but, but I like the idea of having, having the toiletry set and so that's why I wanted this 15. So lastly, you guys, again, this just happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept my Poshmark purchase right now and give my seller five stars um, because I love this item. I, because I love this item, it came with all the original packing packaging. She shipped really fast, it was really good. It was authentic. I have nothing but good things to say. So I just gave her a five star rating because she deserved that and I appreciate her being negotiable. So guys, tell me what you think about my purchase in the, in the comments below. I got an almost $500 item for just $300 and I am so happy about that. Let me know how you guys think I did as far as how much I paid. Um, and going and authenticating it side by side. Let me know if you guys think it's authentic. And let me know if you have any questions about purchasing on the Poshmark app. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram so you can see more of my luxury on a budget finds. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.